Before we look at reducing rational expressions, we're going to take a quick review at how we reduced with monomials. Remember, when reducing with monomials, we had the quotient rule of exponents, which said if we had the same base on top and bottom, we could simply subtract the exponents to get m minus n, or whatever number that would be. For example, if we were to look at this problem, we could reduce the 16 and 12 by dividing them both by 4. Dividing out the 4 would give us a 4 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator. As for the variables, we could subtract the variables 5 minus 9 to get negative 4. Because the exponent is negative, that means the x's must move to the denominator, making it x to the positive 4. This rational expression, made up of monomials, simplified to 4 over 3x to the 4th. Let's take a look at another example. In this problem, we can reduce the numbers like always. Both 15 and 25 have a common factor of 5, so when we divide out that common factor, we're left with 3 and 5. As for the a's, there are 3 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. When we subtract those exponents, 3 minus 1 is 2, and because it's positive, it stays on top in the numerator. As for the b's, when we subtract those, 2 minus 5, this gives us negative 3. The negative exponent tells us to move the b cubed to the denominator. This will become our simplified rational expression. The quotient rule of exponents says we are allowed to subtract the exponents as we reduce. However, it is very important to note we were only able to use the quotient rule when there was only multiplying and dividing in the problem. Should there have been any addition or subtraction, we would not be able to use this method. But if there is only multiplication and division, such as these problems, you can simply reduce the numbers and subtract the exponents.